my um would do a workout and you know people were reaching out to me in my dms like hey man are you a trainer now uh, do you train can i get a one-on-one session and at first i was like no nah, i don't train you know i'm just you know keeping myself in shape right so uh maybe two more weeks went by and everybody kept asking the same question so i said you know what this is something i might want to tap into because it's my passion you know I, i've always been that guy on the field to be that leader to be that spark to make people believe in themselves even if they don't even believe in themselves you know so i mm. uh, started doing that and um started studying for it and got uh certified to be a certified trainer and you know from there from january to now man business is really booming it's, mm-hmm. it's going pretty good man and i'm enjoying it because i'm able to put in that same energy that I've been doing, you know, my whole career, my whole life in football, but still be connected in a way in doing that, but take it a step further, you know, off the football field and, you know, just helping the everyday person just, you know, feel good about themselves and stay in shape and be healthy. So McCluster Fit is my brand now, man. I'm going all the way with it. Absolutely. That's awesome. yeah. So I, I get there, me and my dad, and I experienced everything, the culture, the tradition, and just everything felt right. So when I got back on that plane, I said, dad, man, you know, um, I know where I want to go. He was like, uh, where? I said, you know, I'm going to go to Ole Miss. And he was like, hey, if that's what you want, I'm behind you 100%. And it ended up being one of the best decisions in my career, man. And, you know, obviously the rest is history, man. The rest is history. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, so that was kind of my recruiting process. I was too small to play offense, and I was too small to play in the SEC. And, you know, I took that and put that chip on my shoulder, and that's what motivated me and fueled me to, you know, to some of my success, most of my success. Right, right. But you believe yeah, man, my time with the Chiefs, man, it was amazing. I, I hated to leave. I wanted to, I wanted to stay, but, you know, uh, it's a business. And, you know, I, I felt, you know, at the time I was worth more than, you know, what they wanted to bring me back for, you know, so I had to make a decision for my family. But, I mean, that, that's, the best, that's the best team I can honestly say I've played for. Organization overall that I've played for, you know, with the Kansas City Chiefs, man, as far as the fan base, uh, as far as the, the coaches. But back to the coaches, man, like, you know, we had so many. We had Todd Haley, uh, then, you know, Romeo Cornell, uh, came in as the uh, interim uh, head coach. And then uh, here comes Andy Reid. So all of them were different in their own forms. You know, uh, Todd Haley was more laid back, chill. Um, Romeo Cornell, he was very chill. It took a lot to get him riled up. But, you know, when Andy Reid came over, man, like he's a he's an offensive-minded genius, man. And he's a crowd and doing stuff like that. So they kind of I, – I got past that. So um, my first NFL game uh, was against the San Diego Chargers on a Monday night football. So – Every everybody back home, I'm telling everybody watching the whole world's tuned in, and I'm sitting on the sideline. And um, Javier Arenas was our punt returner, and you know, um, I don't think I think he maybe was struggling that game. I can't really remember. So I saw our head coach lean over to our special teams coach and was like, uh, "Hey, I want to see McCluster return one." And when he said that, my heart went down to my feet. So I'm like, "Oh my god, I haven't returned a punt all year." Well, it was the first game of the season. The first game of the season, I haven't returned a punt all game. Just catch the ball, Dex, and, and I don't care if you gain a yard, just catch the ball. So I'm out there. It's raining a little bit, so I'm like, man, I'm freaking out. My gloves are wet, so I'm rubbing the inside of my thighs, trying to keep my gloves dry. Boom, the punt comes up. Once I caught it and I had room, made one miss, and, you know, that, that was my, my iconic 94-yard punt return of my mm-hmm. first game on a Monday night uh, football. So that was kind of my welcome to the NFL. So after that game, I called everybody. Yeah, you, see, you, see, you did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I did that. Right? Yeah. So – 